Hi guys, what is going on? It's Danny from Thousand Nine today. Today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on probably the simplest way to get um, a hex itself up and running for all your friends. And yes, uh, this also doesn't need uh, port forwarding, so it makes it so so much simpler. So pretty much there's going to be three download links in the description. Uh, the first one's going to take you to the tech Technic launcher, and you just want to download this for your operating system. Second link will take you to um, this Hexit Technic platform, um, and basically you're going to want to click on the server download button here. Um, the last one is going to come over and take you to log me in, and you're going to want to choose um, click tick on this conditions to use, and then download now on this unmanaged version. Okay, so once you've got all of these things, uh, you just have something that looks like these. So. What we're going to do is we're going to first off run this Hamachi Windows installer. Choose your language, click next. Next. Agree. And I'm just going to create a shortcut. And then you're going to click install. So this will pop up and just click yes. And then it will install Hamachi. Okay, so whilst that's installing, we're going to go on to the next bit, which is um, you're going to want to create a new folder. And so what we call it, I'm just going to call it Hexit. Um, then we're going to open the Hexit server version 1 point whatever you're on right now. Then you're going to click, choose one of these and drag these into this new folder. So you're going to extract it from here. Uh, match is actually done. We're not quite going to launch this yet. Um, but there we go guys. Uh, it's extracted this and match is installed. Okay, so if we actually go into the Hexit server, what we're going to do is there's going to be this properties file down here. We're going to right click on it. We're going to choose open with. You're going to choose more options and you can choose notepad. So here you've got all of your like server settings and things like that. Um, but we're just going to minimize this for now and we're actually going to launch Hamachi. So we'll just start it up. Okay, so once it's launched, um, I say thank you for installing Hamachi. Please click the power button on to get started. So you're going to click this on and it's going to come up with this login screen. So from here you're going to want to come back over to this Hamachi site. Click login, click sign up, and then sign up with all of your details, whatever you want. Um, so once you've done that, you're going to want to come over to here and just log in. I think this is mine. Just want to click login, and then uh, it should log you in. And once you're logged in, It'll come up with, it'll give you a code here, code stuff there, and then you say your PC. So, as you can see, I've got no new networks or anything. Um, so, what we're actually going to do is we're going to click on network up at the top here. We're going to choose create a new network. It's going to pop up with this. So, what you're going to want to put as your network ID is a name that hasn't been used before, like um, a completely new name. So, I'm going to put YouTube Hexit 10900, because I'm pretty sure that will not have been used by anyone. So then we're going to put a password, you can put whatever password you want, obviously. Um, it doesn't really matter. So we're just going to create, and it'll pop up with this here. As you can see, you can have one to five people on your server at once, and yeah, I've obviously only got me on it at the moment. But now what we're going to do is we're going to come to this, these set of numbers here, and right click it. Uh, this will say copy IPv4 address, you want to click that. And you're going to come back over to this text file, and where it says server IP, you're just going to want to paste that in there. So you can mess around with any of the settings you want for this, um, it doesn't really matter. I'm just going to keep it as normal because I might as well. So you're just going to exit and save. Um, so now what we're actually going to do is we're going to come back over to um, the Hexit server and there's going to be this Windows batch file. So you want to double click on this, it'll pop up with a command screen. And basically what this is going to do is download all of the mods and basically set up your own server. So this may take a little while, so guys, I will jump back to you when it is finished. Okay guys, so when it says uh, loading dim doors data and loading any, I might have like two lines of code after this, but when it says that, that basically means it's finished. So you can just close this for now. So now what you're actually going to want to do is um, come over to your Technic launcher. So you're going to double click this, um, I have opened this before, so um, in, you'll have to do some updating and downloading packages for you, but basically it'll eventually come over and bring you to this screen. 
to the bottom here, you just want to log in with your normal Minecraft account. You do need a Minecraft Premium account, as I'm sure you guys will know. Then you just want to click on Mod Packs, click on Hexit, choose Install, and then when it's installed, you can click Play. So I will jump back to you guys when it is loaded up. Okay, guys. So um, once you've got your Hexit loaded up, um, you just want to minimize it for now. Then you're going to want to go back into your Hexit server. From here, you just double click the Windows Batch file again, um, and this time it'll actually load up your server. So pretty much whilst it's doing this, I'll just explain how you can actually get um, your friends onto the server. So what they will actually need to do is they will need to download Hamachi, and they'll need to log in with their account and create an account. Then once they've done that, they're going to want to click on Network, then they'll click Join an Existing Network, then they'll put in that network ID, which for me is YouTube Hexit 1090, then they'll put in the password that you set. So that'll mean they will be connected to your Hamachi server. Um, and once this is loaded, um, which it will load in a few seconds, um, I will then be able to show you how you and your friend will be able to connect. So I'll see you in a few seconds. Okay, so as you can see, this is now done. So what we're actually going to do is right click on this again, choose copy IPv4 address. And we're going to come over to Hexit, we're going to click multiplayer. Um, actually, let's just delete that, it's one of my old servers. Um, we're going to click add server color whatever you want and then in the server address you're just going to want to paste that um, code so if your friends are joining they'll do exactly the same as this and I'll just click done and there you go guys as you can see we can just click join server it'll probably lag a bit when you spawn to start off with as you can see that code of me is just saying that I've joined because um, it's going to load the spawn the first time you load in but after that you'll have a completely non-laggy hexit game so you can have up to five people on this I think if you like get a premium version of match you can actually have more um, but yeah five is enough for most people because yeah it just it is so there you go guys this has been how to get a hexit server up and running so easily um, if you have enjoyed then please drop a like but other than that guys I will see you in the next video